Okay, so we'll get. Let's get started. First thing you need is a flathead. If you turned it on in the recent hour, a couple of minutes or something like that, you need your screwdriver. Okay, you need to discharge the tube. You need uh, you need another screwdriver, Phillips or flathead if that's your choice. So you can actually open open up the new VGA cable that I got from a older monitor. See VGA. It's, um, yeah, it is all DB15 the cable and all that. Some pliers to cut off the old cable. A soldering iron and solder. Now this is lead-based solder, but I mean, who cares? Who cares about lead-free stuff? It's pretty nasty, actually. So we're using. I know lead, lead-based solder. It's not good for you, but it's pretty. It's actually pretty. Solder. Now you need to keep your screws. This is like going right over onto the, man, the floor of the man cave, so it's not a good idea. This is pretty, pretty much a mess. If it falls on, then I won't be able to get it back. This thing's on fairly heavy. People saying, yeah, you don't, re you don't really need to do it. It's best to do it, even, even if you don't even need to. Take every, like, do every safety thing, even if you don't need to do it. This is not rolling. See? It's a like chassis. I've got like two CRT chassis. So here is the inside here. Yeah. Two. Now discharge that. It contain even if you're not working near it, still discharge it. It contains about it probably contains about 30,000 volts in there. It's not gonna be um I don't think it's gonna be that safe to touch. All oh, electricity is not safe to touch. So we'll just um, bring that up a bit. So um, yeah, discharge it first. What you need is you need a uh, you need an earth cable for it to ground it, right? We'll just like, um, cut this off, right? We're just gonna cut this cable off. It can be any, of course, it's, it can be any color. You just want you just want um, it to be grounded. So you just need to strip the earth and connect to a metal screwdriver and put it under that knob. If you hear it spark and see like a bit of white or blue, a bit of corona, you discharge it. It's This is almost like a glorified capacitor. So now you need to go to the grounded part of it, like this. So you just need to go to any part that is metal. Obviously, they're shielding. Now, yeah, I know it's a pretty crude job, but. Alright, now is the safety part, right? See that? Done. That has been. That has been discharged. Now. Now, I'm not even working near the high voltage area. I'm mainly just working on the uh, low voltage. Just the video. Now, yes, yeah, so that's all fine and all that, but still, it's good idea to discharge. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to take it out. This is this is where we need a. This is where we need, like, experience. <laughs> not experience, but we need now this is this is the VGA cord, right? Sniff it. I'm not sniff it. We'll, um, we'll sniff it here. We'll throw that out because this is the broken part. 
Now we've got ourselves a good VGA cord. Now here's where you get your brand new one. Like you can even buy VGA cords and like snip it off. We'll just uh, like take the tape off this. And we tie it, and we tie it and we solder it. This is just, this is just the process of me repairing a VGA cord. So, uh, I don't know, Oh, I've got the uh, music. Sorry for any copyright strikes. Not my fault. Bang bang. That's new. Shiza. Um. All right. Well, I'll pause it here. By the way guys, when you're watching this, please note, do not start trying to find my phone number and calling me saying your um, TV or your mind is broken because I don't do this correctly. I don't know anything actually.
Amazing Monster. Thanks for watching. And um, don't try this at home without any experience.